And I hear from Tyler Perry Studios that the scripts for season seven of Sisters are starting to come out. Mm-hmm. And when we get the scripts, we're looking through the scripts and we no- notice that there are some changes. Mm-hmm. And there are some characters who are no longer here. Who are no longer in the script. No longer in the the script or in the story, right? Okay. And we're starting to, like, wonder, like, what's what's going on? And we found out that uh, TP is no longer writing the scripts for Sisters. Mm -hmm. And he's hired a writer's room. Mm -hmm. So the writers took liberties to write their own stories for certain characters, introduce new characters, Mm -hmm. and dismiss certain characters. Mm Mm-hmm. So the characters that have been on the show that are no longer going to be on the show found out via a phone call Mm. approximately three weeks before we were supposed to start filming in May. All right. Well, you heard it from DeVal himself during an episode of the Dead Ass Podcast. And, uh, you know, I didn't use video footage. I put in the audio, even though I don't know that's exactly against copyright policy. Um, Yeah, I'm trying to adhere to YouTube's policies as best I can. It's a lot to take in. There's a lot of changes. But in any case, we're not here to talk about the YouTube issues I'm going through. We're talking about Sisters. So DeVal pretty much mentioned how when it comes to Sisters Season 7, Tyler Perry is no longer handling the entire show on his own back or carrying the show on his own back in terms of writing and whatnot he does have a writer's room and for those like finally he's got writers keep in mind he's had writers for other shows for quite a while house of pain season 10 assisted living season 2 those were the first of the bet shows where tyler handed the shows over to other writers and there were drastic improvements made i've said this countless times if you you know i i get it season nine house of pain season one of assisted living were just awful but you know that's tyler he did everything himself the writing was bad this dialogue was extremely repetitive the acting wasn't all that great not not completely on the fault of the actors but you know you could just tell that when a show got filmed in five days it was definitely filmed in five days because he rushed to get it done And the material just wasn't all that great. But when the new writers came in, there were some massive adjustments that just changed things for the better with both Assisted Living and House of Pain. Um, And the changes were night and day compared to the previous seasons where Tyler did everything for himself. So for starters, you know, just um, we don't know exactly which characters. uh, DeVal didn't state like which characters were no longer in the show as of season seven, that is. But uh, remember, I did a lot of videos about the different characters who would be introduced and and whatnot so if i were to make some educated guesses preston i think is out because danny's written to have a new love interest um i think q is definitely out after season six because i honestly don't see a reason for his character to be in the show once more reason sabrina get their names cleared I don't think Logan would be in the show either because just like with Q, once that storyline is done, his character really has no purpose of being in the series. We know Sabrina's getting a new love interest, so it's safe to assume Calvin is no longer in the show, which begs the question of if Calvin is no longer in the show, I wonder if it's going to be written where he moves out of you know the apartment with Maurice or something, or he decides to go to Florida with his dad. I, I don't know. So that's four characters right off the bat, I'm thinking. Hayden, I don't recall if he... And remember, I'm um, recalling all the different character synopsis for the new cast that will be coming in in Season 7. So I don't know if Hayden's still going to be around. I know Gary's still going to be there, of course. I know... I don't know if Aaron's going to be in Season 7. I know that Karen's still going to be pregnant. She's going to have a baby bump. She's going to get another DNA test. So, But I don't know... For certain if Karen herself will still be in the show. I mean, excuse me, excuse me, Aaron, Aaron, Aaron. But yeah, in terms of like the main girls, of course, we're going to have Andy, Fatima, Sabrina, Danny, and Karen. Zach's going to be in there. Gary is going to be there. Maurice is going to be there. But in terms of like me thinking about the other main cast, you know, some of them may have just, you know, been cut. And, you know, I've, I've said this for a long time. Some of these characters should have been written out years ago but Tyler you know just like he said during the sisters after show the fact that um once he 
likes working with some people he keeps them on and he doesn't want to let them go but i guess because he handed the reins over to other creators they pretty much are giving the show a new fresh coat of paint now trust and believe um it sucks you know like the Val said the people who were cut they got the phone call about three weeks prior to filming in may so if you were curious yes season seven was filmed earlier this year prior to the strikes and whatnot so season seven has already been taken care of uh but to get that phone call to say you're a cut it, yeah it, it definitely sucks and trust and believe uh the situation with me with youtube on the last day of july being told i'm demonetized i'm not getting my money yeah it it sucks but um I, it, it, look, 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 look. I think that they're going to be okay. Mainly because, and I'm really focusing on like the um the people that were cut. If they were like in the show since like season one, they had a good run, six seasons. Not to mention, and this is just me thinking out loud, based off of what I've seen from Tyler Perry and how he interacts with other actors. He's had good, you know, working relationships with. If Tyler Perry likes working with you, you're going to be in something else. Case in point, Tyler Lepley is in one of his upcoming films. I mean, I could sit up here for like an hour and list off all the different actors who have worked with Tyler on one project and then they wind up either getting their own show. They're in one of his movies. Or, you know, I just love the stories where you know, Tyler, oh, this actor was only supposed to be in one episode or three episodes. But because Tyler liked working with that person or he saw something in them, he made them like a recurring character. And it's just amazing to me. So if indeed we're saying farewell to the likes of Trinity or Anthony, um, I think they're going to be in something else Tyler Perry creates in the near future. Now, I don't know with this writer strike and everything. I don't know how long when the actor strike, I don't know how, how long that's going to be, but I think that um they could be in something that Tyler has planned because like Ebony Obsidian, she plays Karen. Guess what? She's in six triple eight. So like I said, if Tyler wants, to, if Tyler likes working with a person, he will find a way to get that person work in some way, shape or form. But yeah, I know. Um, well, being that I work not just for myself, but I work solo. It's been so long since I've had a work dynamic. But I know it's probably not fun to see like, oh, wow, we're not going to be in the same class anymore. Because, you know, based off how the cast interacts, you know, during filming and whatnot, it's definitely like a big family. So to see that you're not able to go to, you know, the same uh, party as all your other friends must really suck. And, you know, for the actors... It's probably like a void because they're so used to working with certain people, but they're not in the show anymore. You know, it's probably a void there that needs to be filled. But um, I'm I'm confident because I did a video on my other channel talking about the different writers brought to the uh, series. I think that it's for the best because we're moving into season seven and some things need to change. And I, I just hope my biggest hope for what's to come in sister season seven is is to be more than just a Zack and Fatima show. To give all the other main characters some meaty storylines. That way, it, we're not just seeing them as fillers. Like, oh, we're going over to Maurice's place with Calvin. We're going to just waste five minutes here to fill up the 42-minute runtime. Oh, you know, Andy and Gary are doing the same runaround since season one. And then when we get to Zack and Fatima, it's like, oh, here go the Karen drama. You know what I mean? So I just hope that at the end of the day, the cast members that are left still get you know good get better material because the show is sisters and that means all the different sisters should get a different element to the series where it's like oh when we go to see danny and whatnot we're excited to see her and then when we go to see sabrina it's like a different dynamic from when we see danny so basically i hope the other characters get storylines that make it so when they're on screen we're not just groaning because oh here we go again calvin i mean Sabrina and Panty Man or Danny and Rodeo is like, you know, she's tripping with him. So it's just one of those things where um, to whatever cast members we're saying farewell to at the end of season six. Just, you know, <laughs> I don't know which ones they are, you know, like I made some educated guesses, but you you've been 
fun to watch some more than others you know i've been honest about which characters i feel like have run their course others like i feel like they've been on the show so long that tyler just assassinated their characters just to keep them aboard but um these things happen you know these things happen um in shows and movie franchises and whatnot so uh as soon as i know more i will let you know you know in terms of like which characters may have gotten the cut which ones didn't but regardless we had a huge cast reunion at kj and sky's wedding so there's that just saying but let me know your thoughts in the comment section below which characters do you hope were cut which ones will you miss that kind of thing like and subscribe and i'll catch you all in the next video